Welcome back to our F1 2019 career mode, guys, where we start up today negotiating a new contract with our McLaren squad. So if you've been watching the previous episodes, you might have seen that things have been going pretty well for our McLaren boys. We are absolutely dominating in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship. So when we went to negotiate a brand new contract for ourselves, we had to be the first driver and get a bunch of perks for the car, which will hopefully make us better in the long term. Anyways, today it is the Austrian Grand Prix. I love this little short circuit. Let's go rip it around for qualifying. Now, before we do get into this, I just want to give a small shout out to each and every one of you who have picked up the brand new AR. 12 snapbacks in the store. Seriously, it means so, so much. We've already shipped to over 10 different countries, so huge props to each and every single one of you. It means so much. Thank you for all of the support. If you want to go and get your own snapback, there is a link down below. So welcome to a very overcasty Austrian Grand Prix today. Now, a couple of things between episodes. One, I have gone in and I have turned up the difficulty again. We are now on Ultimate AI. I thought since things have been going pretty well for ourselves, we would make it a little bit more difficult. And as well, although it may not seem like it on the videos, it's actually been two weeks since I last played this game. So uh, apologies in advance if I'm a little rusty. I was in the UK up at Silverstone visiting the AR-12 drift car. It was actually really, really cool checking out the car in person and, and walking around and speaking to everybody and meeting a bunch of you guys as well. Anyways, long story short, if my driving isn't so much up to par, uh, I'll blame it on my gap that I had recently. Anyways, it's gonna be a decent opening lap here for the moment. Devon Butler, currently with provisional pole, we knock him down, thank you very much. Anyways, we'll skip to the end of qualifying and as we always do, come out for a second lap with no talking, banging a good one with a hella lot of focus. So after all that, we've dropped down to P6. No way, all right. So let's get ready to rock and roll, no talking around this lap. And let's go for pole. I need pole for our team objective, by the way. So let's try to make that a thing. Let's go. I will be honest. I was really, really worried coming around here because we did run into traffic. However, Valtteri Bottas ended up giving us a mega, mega slipstream. So thank you very much, Bottas. It is much appreciated. You give us provisional pole. He's going to go and finish his lap. Let's cross fingers that he's not able to beat us. There we go, we nailed it. We beat the Williams. Sebastian Vettel though, struggling a little bit, dropping down to fifth position. That is not good enough for our McLaren. We've still got the fastest car followed up by Williams and then there's actually a very significant gap to the slower guys. I don't know why Vettel's so slow right there. Anyways, we won't worry about Vettel. We've got to focus on our own race. So we've already done our team objective, which is fantastic. We really need the resource points to hopefully be able to pull away from Williams and company as we progress through the season. Anyways, let's hit the circuit for the race where we've got some interesting weather. I've already gone in and checked. So all right, let's take a look at the starting grid for today. No penalties for us. We've got first position locked down and nailed. I love it. Devon Butler still cheating down in third position. That is insane. Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton both having problems. Charles Leclerc even more of a problem. And our teammate Sebastian Vettel picks up a penalty. That is unfortunate. And the rich energy boys. Th this grid is all over the place today. Anyways, let's jump into the race strategy where things are going to get a little wet at the end of today's race. The question is going to be, will that rain actually start to affect us in the race itself. I think almost sort of kind of because it's so close to the end of the race, we kind of have to ignore it and pretend it's not there and just run our usual race strategy. And then if it kicks in, then we will make the decision for some new tires. So let's get ready to rock and roll for the Austrian Grand Prix. Clutch in, rev it up. And away we go for the Austrian Grand Prix. So we've already got pole position. So let's try to keep it and not have any issues. We are on a harder difficulty than we usually run, and it's been a while since I've played. 
So we will cross fingers and try to do the best we can. Also, I've got the same glitch again where it keeps saying, please wait in the top left. That's annoying. I gotta get into this. My lines are all over the place. This is what taking a two week gap does to your driving ability. We are all over the place right now. Valtteri's within half a second as we're running in rich revs. He's closing in. It just feels like my reactions, my lines, my... Like that, that shouldn't be happening. I shouldn't be cutting the corner like that. What are we doing? Anyways, Valtteri's now got DRS, so we're gonna need to watch out for him because of my lack of driving ability. Fantastic. We're gonna cover off the inside. If he's gonna try to go with Danny Rick on us and send it around the outside, he's not. We do compromise our line. He's gonna close in, but we've kept it safe for the moment. We still have a lot of work to do on this McLaren in terms of the downforce for the car. That's our big lacking spot right now. Our front downforce especially is not that great as we are literally skipping along the circuit. Yeah, we, we need to improve that. So the extra resource points will hopefully help a significant amount. Oh, Valtteri with the DRS goes flying up round the outside. Okay, bud. Well, now we're gonna be the ones with the DRS. There is a yellow flag behind. What has happened there? One of the McLarens is slowing down massively. There's been a problem. Wait, wait. One of the McLarens? No. No, 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 no. You're having a laugh. Oh, you're having a laugh. Why is it every time we blow up our car? Sebastian Vettel is out of the Grand Prix. We were on pace for a very good race ahead of us. And now, and now we're out of it. Well, for McLaren, we're gonna need to get the maximum number of points we can, which means taking that man in front of us down. Let's go. We've gotta hunker down, we gotta focus, we gotta put some good laps into the car, and, and like, shake off that two-week rust that we've got right now. Can we go around the outside of Valtteri? We cannot, but we keep the DRS. It is gonna be a drag race past our broken down teammate, and we get Val- Illegal overtake! Vettel! Oh wait! Wait, that worked! We braked as we were alongside, he got the position back, we got into green flag racing, and we just took him back! Alright, well hopefully now, I can maybe pull away, it's, it's like, I'm trying to balance fuel saving, as well as racing with these guys and it's not working. Anyways, I think this might be a little bit of flip-flopping back and forth before we get to our pit stop, and then that's when things are gonna happen. So let's get to then first. Rain is forecast in just over 10 minutes time. Rain in 10 minutes. Um, hey, what now? Okay, now we've gotta think. This rain is gonna be coming in a lot sooner than we were expecting, so I think this is obviously gonna be a wet race, so I think we've gotta go soft compound tires, soft compound tires, get the maximum performance, and then because it's classified as a wet race, we won't need to use two different tire compounds, so then we'll be able to jump on the intermediates when the rain kicks in. I think that's gonna be the best strategy, so let's go for that. Now let's put some distance into the car. All right, so it's been a couple of laps and we have officially pulled away from the boys behind, and more specifically, Kimi Raikkonen, who kind of snuck out of nowhere. He's passed some people and is now in pursuit for first place. Anyways, because there's been quite a bit of battling going on behind, we've now got like a four second lead on second place, which is kind of insane. Anyways, we are gonna be doing the strategy that I was talking about. Soft compound tires get the maximum performance out of this car, then when the rain kicks in, jump on the intermediates becoming it because it's coming in so soon it's gonna be a wet race we won't need to follow the rule we are all good all right so in we go try to nail it and try not to okay, get a speeding penalty let's redo that all righty so we are just about the only person who's decided to come in somebody else came in i think that's one of the toro rossos anyways let's go green light very good stop 2.5 seconds we are not going to get held up by any traffic out here. That is fantastic to hear. Rejoin back in 12th place. 
That's not bad at all. I will gladly take that. All right, so now we've got these soft compound tires until the rain comes in. And as you can tell by those clouds above those trees, I don't think it's gonna take super long. Oh, you know what else I completely forgot to mention as well? I need the fastest lap in this Grand Prix. So let's go, go, go. See if we can get it. I don't know if it's gonna be possible without a tow, but let's see and try our best. Uh, a bunch of people jumped into the pits there, by the way, with that up to fifth place. Ricardo is the man who's behind now. Okay, we've got a purple lap so far. Come on, get to the line. We go quickest. We get the purple. Thank you very much. Now he's got to hold that. These guys are all jumping on new mediums. So in theory, they shouldn't be able to catch up to us. But who really knows? We just got to keep putting in these good laps. Raikkonen is now behind. It is a Williams 2-3. I think we may see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. Um, you what, Jeff? Um, Jeff, 15 minutes from now is the end of the race, bud. It was 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago. Okay, well, it, it looks like today is not over just yet. Good job, Jeff. It looks like this strategy is either going to be a complete payoff or the biggest failure of my career, and pff, I'm gonna get fired. Well, it's definitely looking a little bit darker now. Now we've just gotta wait for the rain. We've still got 13 laps, so I think we're looking good, but we need that rain to start coming down, like right now. Come on, game. It's happening! It's happening! It's raining! Yes! There's 11 laps to go! And it is officially raining. Yes! All right, game, please disable the DRS. And that will be our line in the sand. When we come in, we get the intermediate tires on. And then we can officially break the rule. Yes! All right, boys, I'm going to make the call myself because it is way, way too wet out here right now. I can't deal with this. We are slipping and sliding all over the place. Even though the game is not said to come in, I'm just gonna do it because this is kind of insane right now. So yeah, let's uh, let's jump in now. I'm losing too much time. DRS is disabled. There is the call. Oh, isn't it nice when things just work out for you? Into the pits we go. Let's not get a speeding penalty on the brakes early. And in. Alright, so that is one of the Williams coming in. All the way at the back there. And we are out and we hold first place. We are not going to get disqualified. We've followed all the rules. We've absolutely nailed it. Well, if I'm honest, it's been a couple of very uneventful laps out here in the rain. Kimmy hasn't been able to catch up. We've been fuel saving. We are now back in the green very, very nicely. We're actually catching up to one of the Saubers up in front. And I mean, other than that, we've just been sort of kind of dri driving around. There hasn't been much to do in the rain, if I'm honest. Anyways, on to the final lap we go. We've got the quickest lap. We've got an 11 second lead on Kimi Raikkonen behind. We go for the formula drift. I like it. Anyway, so maybe this isn't like the best track to judge my difficulty, but we will definitely hike it up for the next couple of races and see how it goes. Anyways, after this race, we should get quite a number of resource points, which we will put into the car next episode and hopefully have an even faster car at the end of the season. Anyways, around the final corner, no dramatics. Thank you, team, for the awesome pit stop work. My 200 IQ play worked amazingly well. Exclusive club member, what is that? Won a 25% race distance or longer against ultimate, ultimate AI. Anyways, congratulations, me. I have no idea how Gasly ended up in third. I thought it was going to be a Williams 2-3, but somehow Mr. Pierre comes out of nowhere. Anyways, we did what we set out to. We got the maximum number of points for our McLaren squad. Fantastic. I don't know what happened to Ricardo. He was in like third place and he drops down to eighth. I don't know how that happens. Anyways, 
The guys behind us are closing in by quite a bit after that one. With the big old DNF, that's kind of unfortunate, but you can't complain. Seb is going to be under threat very, very soon. Anyways, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the AR-12 snapbacks. Link is down below. Thank you to everyone who's already got one, like I was saying. And I will see you guys soon with some more F1 2019. See you guys then. Bye!